are you enjoying your dinner? Oh, yes, thank you. This is like a dream. Isn't it? And to think it's our first date. A blind date. Yeah, it's working out so perfectly. You're so sweet. You're so beautiful. I'm having such a good time. So am I. Listen, uh, this may be sudden, but uh, how about after dinner we go over to my place and have a little hot tub bath? Huh? Oh. oh, I'd love to. You would? Yes. Oh, this is the happiest moment of my life. You, um, you don't mind that... What? What is it? Well, I am older than you are. Oh, no. Doesn't seem to be a big deal when older men date younger women, huh? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't like that double standard. You know, when my boss, Mr. Harris, told me he wanted me to meet his cousin's nephew, I didn't know what to expect. <laughs> and to think I told my Aunt Sarah that blind dates never work out. <laughs> you have an Aunt Sarah? Yeah. Well, that explains it. I know this sounds silly, but... I had a wonderful friend named Sarah, so Sarah's always been a lucky name for me. <laughs> well, it was lucky for Ralph. Ralph? Yeah, Sarah's husband. What a coincidence. I have a friend who married a man named Ralph. Her name was Susie. Susie, that was Ralph's first wife. Right. She was remarried to a doctor named Steve. Steve used to be my doctor. <laughs> he had a nurse named Jane. I, I, I had a big crush on her roommate, Sally. I used to have a niece named Sally. I remember Sally talking about her Aunt Martha who married a guy named Jack. Jack? Jack is my best friend, Gloria's accountant. <laughs> but Gloria was my piano teacher. Oh. And, and, and uh, she was the second cousin to Sven. Sven? Is Sven the house painter? Yeah. He painted my house with his friend named Fred. <laughs> Fred? The Fred that was married to Madeline? Yes, and Madeline had a daughter named Betty. I know Betty. Was she the one who wanted to be an actress and changed her name to Sandy? That's right. She oh. married Larry. Oh, that's right. Well, Larry's my first cousin, twice removed. Well, then your second cousin first removed must be Morris. And his sister is my half-sister, Pat. And Pat is the natural daughter to Henry. Yes, yeah, so you must be... Mom. <laughs> Well, uh, I guess the hot tub's out, huh? <laughs> I don't know, uh, we gotta, we gotta do that again. It's just not right. Oh, terrific. No, I think it has to be explained up front, Bob. I oh, think, you're crazy. No, I think the, the audience has to... Expect, you know, they have to accept too much. It should be explained no, that the guy was maybe minute, an orphan or something. Right. Uh, we're doing bizarre. Okay. I don't, you know. It worked. You got great laughs. We'll keep it. When you start explaining stuff up front, you're going to blow the gag right Just away. a little something like the guy was left alone with his father. You don't need anything up front. I think we do, though. <laughs> okay, I'll give you a little tiny gag up front. It won't spoil the piece. Okay? Yeah, I think it'd be better. Uh, can I see you the waiter for a second, please? No. Okay, thanks. Thanks a lot. Uh, can we take it again from the top, please? Same piece. Thanks, Bob. Are you enjoying your dinner with your mother? 